Planet Earth, a vibrant tapestry of life, teeming with diverse ecosystems and breathtaking landscapes. But beneath its beauty lies a stark reality. Hidden within our world's most extreme environments are places so unforgiving, so desolate, they challenge the very limits of human survival. From scorching deserts to frozen wastelands, from suffocating jungles to treacherous mountain peaks, these are the frontiers where life as we know it hangs by a thread. Today, we embark on a journey to the edges of existence exploring 10 of the most uninhabitable places on Earth. Prepare to be amazed by the sheer power of nature and humbled by the resilience of life clinging to existence in the face of overwhelming odds. Join us as we unveil the mysteries of these extraordinary locations and discover the stories of those who dared to venture into their unforgiving depths. This is a journey into the heart of our planet's extremes, a testament to the awe-inspiring power of nature, and a reminder of our own place within its delicate balance. Our journey into the extremes begins in the heart of the Mojave Desert, in a place aptly named Death Valley. Here, beneath the scorching California sun, lies a landscape sculpted by intense heat and relentless aridity. Temperatures soar to unimaginable heights, regularly exceeding 120 degrees Fahrenheit, making it one of the hottest places on Earth. The air is parched, wringing every drop of moisture from the environment and leaving behind a landscape of salt flats, sand dunes, and sun-baked rock. Rainfall is a rare and precious event, with annual averages barely exceeding two inches. Those who dare to venture into this unforgiving realm face the constant threat of dehydration and heat stroke, their bodies pushed to the very limits of endurance. Yet even in this seemingly barren wasteland, life finds a way. Desert plants adapted to survive on minimal water cling tenaciously to the arid soil, their roots reaching deep to tap into hidden sources of moisture. Nocturnal animals emerge under the cover of darkness, seeking respite from the scorching daytime temperatures. Death Valley stands as a testament to the power of nature to create environments of both breathtaking beauty and unforgiving harshness. It is a place where survival depends on adaptation and resilience, a stark reminder of the delicate balance that governs life on our planet. From the scorching heat of Death Valley we journey now to the Sahara Desert, a vast ocean of sand stretching across northern Africa. Covering an area almost as large as the United States, the Sahara is a land of superlatives, a place where the horizon stretches endlessly before you, an unbroken expanse of dunes, gravel plains, and rocky plateaus. The sun beats down mercilessly, baking the sand to temperatures that can reach 180 degrees Fahrenheit. The air is dry and unforgiving, with humidity levels often dropping below 10%. Dust devils, swirling vortices of sand, dance across the landscape, driven by the intense heat and relentless wind. Yet, despite its harsh conditions, the Sahara is not devoid of life. Nomadic tribes such as the Tuareg and Bedouin have traversed its unforgiving terrain for centuries, their lives intertwined with the rhythms of the desert. Camels, known as the ships of the desert, provide essential transportation, their ability to withstand heat and thirst crucial for survival. The Sahara Desert stands as a testament to the adaptability of life and the enduring spirit of those who call it home. It is a place of stark beauty where silence reigns supreme and the vastness of the sky stretches the limits of imagination. From the scorching deserts we journey now to the other extreme, the icy plains of Antarctica. This vast frozen continent is a place of stark beauty and harsh realities, a land where the elements reign supreme and survival is a constant battle. This, the southernmost continent, is a land of extremes where temperatures can plummet to unimaginable depths and the sun disappears for months on end. During the summer months, the sun never sets, casting an eerie, perpetual daylight over the frozen landscape. It's a place that seems determined to repel life, yet, as we'll see, even here, life finds a way. The resilience of the creatures that inhabit this frozen world is nothing short of extraordinary. Antarctica is often described as a desert, but not one of sand and dunes. Instead, it is a desert of ice and snow, a place where the landscape is sculpted by the relentless forces of wind and cold. It's a desert of ice and snow, a vast white expanse that stretches as far as the eye can see. The sheer scale of this frozen wilderness is both humbling and awe-inspiring. This is the coldest place on Earth, with temperatures recorded as low as minus 89.2 degrees Celsius. 
Such extreme cold is beyond the experience of most people, a cold so intense it can freeze exposed skin in seconds. Imagine the bitter sting of that cold, the way it seeps into your bones, the way it steals the very heat from your breath. Every breath taken in this frigid air feels like inhaling shards of ice. But the cold is only one of the challenges Antarctica throws at those brave or foolish enough to venture here. The isolation, the unending expanse of white and the ever-present danger of crevasses hidden beneath the snow add to the peril. The continent is also incredibly dry. Despite being covered in ice, Antarctica receives very little precipitation, making it one of the driest places on Earth. What little precipitation there is falls as snow, and the air itself is starved of moisture. The dry, cold air can be as harsh on the body as the freezing temperatures. This extreme aridity, combined with the relentless cold, makes Antarctica one of the most challenging environments on the planet. The combination of these factors creates a place where only the hardiest of life forms can survive. Yet despite these harsh conditions, life persists. The creatures that call this place home have adapted in remarkable ways to survive. Penguins huddle together for warmth, their tightly packed bodies creating a barrier against the cold. These social birds rely on each other for survival, taking turns to stand on the outer edges of the huddle. Seals bask on the ice floes, their thick blubber providing insulation against the freezing temperatures. They are masters of the icy waters, diving deep beneath the ice in search of food, and seabirds soar overhead, their cries echoing across the frozen wasteland. These birds travel vast distances, their keen senses guiding them through the harsh environment. Antarctica is a stark reminder of the resilience of life and a testament to the power of adaptation. In this frozen world, life not only survives but thrives, a testament to the incredible adaptability of nature. Now we travel from the frozen wastelands of Antarctica, a place where ice and snow dominate the landscape, creating a world of white as far as the eye can see, to a different kind of desert, the Atacama Desert of Chile. Unlike the icy expanse of Antarctica, the Atacama is a land of reddish-brown earth, a stark contrast to the white wilderness we just left behind. This desolate landscape, nestled between the Andes Mountains and the Pacific Ocean, holds a remarkable distinction. It's the driest non-polar desert on Earth. The Atacama's unique position between these two natural barriers creates an environment unlike any other. Some areas here have gone without a single drop of rain for centuries. The ground is so parched that it cracks and splits, a testament to the relentless dryness that defines this region. Imagine a place where the sun beats down relentlessly, where the heat is so intense that it creates shimmering waves on the horizon, distorting the landscape in a mirage of heat, where the air is so dry it parches your throat with every breath, making each inhale feel like a struggle against the arid atmosphere, and where the landscape stretches out before you, a sea of cracked earth and dusty plains. The vast emptiness of the Atacama is both awe-inspiring and intimidating, a reminder of nature's raw power. This is the Atacama, a place where even the hardiest of creatures struggle to survive. The sparse vegetation and the few animals that do exist here have adapted in extraordinary ways to cope with the extreme conditions. The lack of rainfall is due to a phenomenon called rain shadow. This occurs when mountains block the passage of rain-producing weather systems, casting a shadow of dryness behind them. The towering Andes Mountains act as a barrier, blocking moist air from the Amazon basin. As the moist air rises and cools over the mountains, it loses its moisture, leaving the air that descends on the other side dry and arid. The Atacama is so arid, in fact, that it's often used by scientists as a stand-in for the surface of Mars. The similarities between the two landscapes are striking, making the Atacama an invaluable resource for space research. The soil here is remarkably similar to Martian soil, both in composition and in its extreme dryness. This makes the Atacama an ideal testing ground for instruments designed for Mars missions, and the extreme dryness makes it an ideal location for testing instruments and conducting experiments related to space exploration. Scientists can simulate Martian conditions without ever leaving Earth. It's a sobering thought that this desolate landscape so seemingly devoid of life could hold the key to understanding another planet. The Atacama's harsh conditions provide a window into what life might be like on Mars. Yet, even in this extreme environment, life finds a way. The resilience of nature is on full display here, as plants and animals have evolved to survive against all odds. 
Specialized plants, known as xerophytes, have adapted to survive on the meager moisture provided by fog that rolls in from the Pacific. These plants have developed unique mechanisms to capture and retain water, ensuring their survival in this harsh climate. And small creatures like insects and reptiles have developed remarkable strategies for conserving water and avoiding the scorching daytime heat. They seek shelter during the hottest parts of the day and emerge when temperatures are more bearable, showcasing the incredible adaptability of life in the Atacama. From the arid plains of the Atacama, one of the driest places on Earth, we venture now to a place of fire and brimstone, the Danakil Depression in Ethiopia. This is a land where the Earth's raw power is on full display. This otherworldly landscape, located in the Horn of Africa, is one of the hottest and most geologically active places on Earth. Temperatures here can soar above 50 degrees Celsius, making it one of the most inhospitable places for human life. Prepare yourself for a journey into a realm of bubbling lava lakes, toxic gas vents, and a landscape that seems to belong to another planet. The salt plains stretch as far as the eye can see, creating a stark white expanse that reflects the harsh sunlight. The Danakil Depression sits at the junction of three tectonic plates, which are slowly pulling apart. This tectonic activity is responsible for the region's dramatic geological features. This tectonic activity has created a landscape of dramatic contrasts where jagged volcanic rocks meet smooth salt flats and where the ground can shift and crack without warning. Volcanoes spew molten lava into the sky, creating a fiery spectacle that can be seen for miles around. Meanwhile, sulfurous hot springs bubble and hiss, releasing steam and gases that stain the ground in vibrant shades of yellow, green, and orange. These colorful deposits are a result of the minerals dissolved in the hot water which precipitate out as the water cools. The air is thick with the pungent odor of sulfur, a constant reminder of the powerful forces at work beneath the Earth's surface. Breathing this air can be a challenge as the sulfur dioxide can irritate the lungs and eyes. But the Danakil Depression is not merely a hot and hellish place, it's also incredibly dry. The arid conditions mean that water is scarce, and the landscape is dominated by dry, cracked earth. Rainfall is a rare occurrence here, with some areas receiving less than 100 millimeters of rain per year. When it does rain, the water quickly evaporates or is absorbed by the thirsty ground. The combination of extreme heat and aridity creates an environment that is both fascinating and forbidding. It's a place where survival is a constant challenge and where only the hardiest life forms can thrive. Imagine walking across a landscape where the ground is literally hot enough to burn your bare feet, where the heat radiates up from the earth, making every step a test of endurance. The air is so dry it cracks your lips and dehydrates your body rapidly, making it essential to carry ample water supplies. The only sounds are the hiss of escaping gases and the distant rumble of volcanic activity, a constant reminder of the volatile nature of this region. Despite these harsh conditions, the Danakil Depression is not entirely devoid of life. It is home to some of the most resilient organisms on the planet. Extremophile microorganisms, specially adapted to survive in environments with high temperatures, high salinity, and low pH, thrive in the hot springs and salt flats. These microorganisms have evolved unique mechanisms to cope with the extreme conditions. These hardy life forms offer a glimpse into the potential for life in other extreme environments both on Earth and beyond. Their existence raises intriguing questions about the possibility of life on other planets with similarly harsh conditions. The Danakil Depression, with its extreme heat, aridity, and geological activity, serves as a natural laboratory for scientists studying extremophiles and the limits of life. It is a place where the boundaries of what we know about life are constantly being pushed and redefined. Towering over 29,000 feet above sea level, Mount Everest is the highest point on Earth, a majestic and formidable peak that has beckoned adventurers and thrill-seekers for centuries. But let's be clear, Everest's beauty is deceiving. This is a place of extremes, where the air itself becomes a threat to human life. Known as the Death Zone, anything above 26,000 feet pushes the human body to its absolute limit. The air is so thin that it holds just a third of the oxygen found at sea level. This lack of oxygen, combined with extreme cold and unpredictable weather, makes every breath, every step, a monumental challenge. Frostbite is a constant danger, threatening to rob climbers of fingers and toes. Hypothermia lurks around every corner, ready to sap the warmth and energy from the bravest souls. And then there's the wind, 
howling across the slopes at speeds that can knock you off your feet and send you tumbling into the abyss. Even with supplemental oxygen, the human body can only endure the extreme conditions on Everest for a limited time. Climbers often experience hallucinations, confusion, and impaired judgment as their bodies struggle to cope. It's a place that tests the very limits of human endurance, a stark reminder of nature's raw power and our own fragility in the face of it. Stretching across a vast expanse of northern Asia, Siberia is a land of icy tundras, dense forests, and unforgiving winters. It's a place where temperatures can plummet to unimaginable lows where the sun barely makes an appearance for months on end, and where survival is a daily struggle. In the heart of Siberian winter, the mercury can drop to minus 60 degrees Fahrenheit, sometimes even lower. The air is so cold it stings your skin, and exposed flesh can freeze in a matter of minutes. Rivers and lakes turn solid landscapes disappear beneath blankets of snow, and the world transforms into a silent frozen wasteland. The extreme cold makes even the simplest tasks a monumental challenge. Batteries drain rapidly in the frigid temperatures. Metal objects stick to exposed skin, and even breathing becomes an exercise in pain management. The bitter cold seeps into your bones, chilling you to the core and testing the limits of human resilience. Despite these harsh conditions, people have adapted to life in Siberia. Indigenous communities have survived here for centuries relying on traditional knowledge, resourcefulness, and a deep respect for the land. But for outsiders, Siberia remains a formidable and unforgiving frontier, a stark reminder of nature's raw power. The Amazon rainforest, a sprawling emerald tapestry draped across the heart of South America, is a symphony of life. It's a place teeming with biodiversity, a treasure trove of unique species found nowhere else on Earth. But beneath its vibrant exterior, the Amazon harbors dangers that command respect. The jungle's dense canopy blocks out the sun, creating a humid, shadowy undergrowth that's home to a bewildering array of insects, some venomous, some merely annoying, but all part of a complex ecosystem. Navigating this verdant labyrinth is a constant challenge, with tangled vines, slippery slopes, and hidden dangers lurking at every turn. The Amazon's rivers and waterways teem with life, both beautiful and deadly. Electric eels can deliver a shocking jolt, piranhas have earned their fearsome reputation, and the elusive jaguar reigns supreme as the apex predator of this watery realm. Even the seemingly harmless can pose a threat, with parasites lurking in the water and diseases carried by insects. But perhaps the greatest danger in the Amazon is the rainforest itself. Getting lost in this vast wilderness is all too easy, and with limited visibility, scarce resources, and the constant threat of dehydration, it can quickly become a fight for survival. The Amazon is a place of breathtaking beauty, but it's also a stark reminder that nature is both awe-inspiring and unforgiving. From scorching heat to freezing cold, the Gobi Desert experiences some of the most extreme temperature swings on the planet. During the day, the sun beats down relentlessly, baking the sand and pushing temperatures well over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. But as the sun sets, the heat rapidly dissipates into the clear desert sky, plunging the Gobi into a deep freeze. This dramatic shift in temperature is just one of the challenges faced by the few nomadic people who call the Gobi home. Water is scarce, found only in scattered oases, and the sparse vegetation offers little sustenance for their herds of camels and goats. Life in the Gobi Desert is a constant struggle against the elements, a testament to the resilience of both humans and animals. Despite its harsh conditions, the Gobi Desert holds a stark beauty. The vastness of the landscape, the silence broken only by the wind whistling through the dunes, and the clear, star-filled night sky create a sense of awe and solitude. It's a place of extremes, where survival depends on adaptation and respect for the power of nature. The Gobi Desert is a reminder that life can exist even in the most challenging environments, and that even in the harshest landscapes, there is a captivating beauty to be found. Towering over the Karakoram Range on the border of Pakistan and China, K2 stands as a formidable challenge to even the most experienced mountaineers. Known as the Savage Mountain, K2 has earned a fearsome reputation for its treacherous climbing conditions, unpredictable weather, and unforgiving terrain. The ascent of K2 is not for the faint of heart. Climbers face constant threats from avalanches, rockfalls, and treacherous icefalls. 
The air at such high altitudes is thin, requiring supplemental oxygen and testing the limits of human endurance. Even the slightest mistake on K2 can have dire consequences. Despite the risks, K2 continues to beckon climbers from around the globe, drawn by its allure and the ultimate test it presents. Those who dare to attempt its summit are driven by a deep sense of adventure, a desire to push their physical and mental limits, and a yearning to stand atop one of the world's most formidable peaks. K2 stands as a testament to the power of human ambition and the allure of the unknown. It is a place where nature reigns supreme and where the human spirit is pushed to its absolute limits. From the scorching heat of Death Valley to the icy wilderness of Antarctica, we've journeyed across the globe, exploring some of Earth's most extreme and uninhabitable environments. These places, often unforgiving and desolate, offer a glimpse into the raw power of nature and the remarkable resilience of life itself. While we may not call these places home, they remind us of the incredible diversity of our planet and the importance of respecting the delicate balance that sustains it. If you enjoyed this journey to the edge of what's possible, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more captivating explorations. Thank you for joining us on this adventure to the world's most uninhabitable places. Until next time, keep exploring.